Hi everyone, this is Gabrielle from Blue My Mind reporting for August 23rd. I'd like to give everyone a uh, introduction to Microsoft Outlook 2007. So this is basically the main welcoming screen. So it is stating the date. If I were to populate this program with all types of things, you will see things in the calendar lined up, tasks, and also emails. So just to give you a, a little tour how things work, on the left hand side you will see the tabs stating mail, calendar, contacts, tasks, and then there's a few other programs here called notes, folder lists, and shortcuts. If you want these to appear over here, all you have to do is click on this bar over here and drag it up and as you can see all the little shortcuts at the bottom have disappeared so to keep things in order I'd like to look at the mail side of things so this is Outlook that you would use to uh, send emails typically you would receive emails and you click on your inbox and you would see all your emails uh, listed and you could arrange them by date, by conversation, who you received it from, who you sent it to, the categories, the way you might have flagged them, the size of the email, the subject, the type, if there are any attachments, the email account, important or even a custom. Click on customs, they have all types of different fields and other tabs that you can select from if you choose to go that route. To, to send an email, all you need to do is click on this tab over here, New. You should know that if you click on the, the downwards arrow, it's going to give you a drop down menu of all the different things you can do that's unrelated to creating an email. So you can basically post in this folder, create a folder, search for a folder, create a new appointment, a new contact, create a distribution list tasks, journal entry, notes, internet facts, and so forth. So right now, I want to send an email. So I could just click on new over here. And then all of a sudden, the email box appears. Let me just fix the size. For those of you that are not aware, to fix the size of a, a window, all you have to do is grab it from the corner when the arrow turns into two directional arrows all you do is you click and you hold the mouse until you're in the size that you're looking for so here is the the composed new window to send an email so for those of you that are not aware you can start by putting in the email address that you'd like to send an email to in this field so you can say test at bluemymind.com CC is called carbon copy so if you want to send another copy of this email you can send it to somewhere on someone else so for this example I'm going to send it to copy at bluemymind.com also for those of you that are not aware there's an additional tab called BCC which is called blind carbon copy. This is if you'd like to send the email to someone that is not on the list, but you'd like them to get a copy of the email that is being sent without other people knowing. Uh, right now, it's not appearing, but if you click on CC, you can just add the email over here. And where you go, typically, as you grow your address book, you'll have all your addresses listed alphabetically in this window and you just double click on one of the tabs and then the email will appear in the two seat carbon copy or the blind car carbon copy field. So we'll just add an email address and click OK and all of a sudden the tab has appeared. Over here, you have to put in the subject that you'd like to talk about. So we'll say test. 
and write a little email. One, this is a test. We would like to explore the new features that Microsoft Outlook has to offer. Best regards to my mind staff. So once you've you're ready to send the email, all you have to do is click on send, which is typically here, but since I don't have the email set up, you, you're not seeing it. Uh, also, sending an email is typically like writing a, a document in Word. You have all the different settings here, one after the other. So let's say you want to change the font. You could do so by highlighting some of the words, clicking on the downwards arrow and selecting a font that suits the, the, the style you're looking for. We'll click on that. And notice there's a change. It's not a dramatic change, but we'll make something a little more dramatic to give you an, a better idea of what to expect. As you can see, the writing over here has been bolded and is in another font. If you like to make the fonts bigger, you can just select some words and increase the size even if you want to highlight it you can highlight it from here or change the, the colors of a few letters by just clicking here there are drop down menus in both scenarios in case you'd like to change the colors as you can see as you're doing this the, the colors are, are changing constantly so you get a live preview of the colors that are, are appearing at the same time. Also, if you'd like to insert an attachment, you click on insert and you can choose attach file and then choose a file that you'd like to attach in the email and it'll appear over here as an attached email. Um, there's all types of other features that can be used, like if you want to create your own table, you choose the amount of columns that you need, and away you go. So just for the sake of the test, you say you want three lines uh, and two columns. And here you go, and you can resize them as you wish. When it comes to sending emails, a lot of people, they like following it up. And this is where this tool becomes very handy. If this is an important email, you can click on high importance. And if you'd like to follow it up, you click on the downwards arrow and you say when you want a reminder to kick in. So we say add reminder, follow us up for Sunday at We'll say nine o'clock in the morning. Click OK, and away we go. So right now I'm just going to click Save, and then when you click Save and you don't send out the email, it, it goes into a draft. So as you can see over here, the draft email has increased by one unit, and this is our email in a small display. Now we're going to move on to the 